also got to be strong in this industry, as in any other industry. So we're here for our pickup. It's supposed to be four pieces. And uh, all four pieces Turn left onto Nicholas Boulevard. have not cleared. They said only one of the four pieces have cleared. So awaiting word on whether or not we're gonna take one. Take the next left onto Nicholas Boulevard. Whether we're going to take one or whether we're going to wait on all four. Dispatch seems to think they're going to wait for all four. We'll go right down the road here. Pilot. Hang out there for a few, I guess. Wait and see what happens. Hopefully we don't hang on to this thing too long messing around with it because this is Chicago. We can get up out of here pretty quick. So I really don't want to be messing around with this load all day and then it not go. That would be frustrating. So we'll update you as soon as we know something. All right, guys, we're loaded. Four pieces, three skids, one box, four pieces, 726 pounds. Going to Atlanta, Georgia, 752 miles. Let's go. I'm going to get gas in Franklin, Kentucky on the way to Atlanta. 
Gotta have dinner. So we're here at our drop-off. It's Tuesday, March 23rd. It's about 6.40 a.m. And we're supposed to drop off here. Uh, the paperwork says Dock 74 and 76. I don't know if you can see that. Right there is the door we're supposed to deliver at. We're at Dock 74 through 76. So we're hoping that we're able to get this offloaded. It's going to be delivering somewhere in this big ass building. There's another side of this place that's fenced in. It says shipping and receiving. But everything on the place says uh, UPS. And that's not what I'm supposed to be delivering to, so I'm hoping. Hoping that we're in the right spot. Delivery time says 8 a.m. I was just a few miles down the road. I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. I didn't want to deal with. I didn't want to deal with too much traffic, so I came over here. I woke up at about 12 after 6, so I went ahead and came over here. Might have been able to sleep here last night. I'm not sure went down the road to a racetrack it's kind of a truck well it's a truck stop but it's not very big they got cat scale and whatnot and truck parking over there they just didn't have a lot of car parking there was another sprinter driver there so that's what I did parked there for the night didn't have any problems so we're loaded as you see one piece 300 pounds I didn't think it's 300 it says 362 that sure moved a lot easier than 362 we are loaded here in Atlanta 
and we are going to Waterloo, Iowa. You need it here? hole I was sitting in front of. Move down here out the way. I know you guys don't like these but I like to do a five hour power beforehand. Eleven AM Eastern it's due by 6 a.m. tomorrow. 901 miles, eight miles on a deadhead. Yeah, we're good, man. We will have this there tonight. Maybe even get it offloaded tonight and think about relocating to Chicago in the middle of the night, seeing seeing how we're feeling. So, yeah, let's go. You know the drill. So another example of verifying your freight and your information information sent said two pieces 316 I got one at 362 so what he did is he uh, he has a part number on hand so had to check the BOL for that part number which it wasn't on there so went back to the back <coughs> and checked out the uh, paperwork that was attached to the freight which the part number was there so now it's just verifying the weight and we'll be good to go check your freight 